to Wildwood Cottage and welcome back to Wales. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you've all had a good week and that you've enjoyed your weekend. It's not been very nice here. We've had the odd bit of sunshine. But other than that, it's rained and rained and rained. So, yeah, what I've decided to do today is um, I've decided to come out and get the plants ready for winter because winter's fast approaching. We've had some cold evenings. We had a clear night and moon last night. So, excuse me a sec. I don't think it'll be too long before the frosts come. I've got my hat back on, got my jacket back on, and it's a bit icy. So uh, the wind is coming, the weather's coming from the east today, so it's a little bit cooler. But uh, I want to get my citrus fruits, my apricots, and my peaches put away because I don't want to lose them. Um, I've got two fig plants, uh, not I've got a fig plant that needs to go away. And I've got two kiwi fruits as well. So the apples are all right, they can stay out. But I just want to put the tender things away, like the blueberries as well. I've got a couple of blueberry plants and some mulberries. So they're all going to go away. I think the mulberries are going to go in the polytunnel and the blueberries. And we've got a few bits and bobs to put in the polytunnel that are planted outside that also need to go in. So, busy day again. So yeah, today I'm hoping it's going to be dry enough for me to be able to cut the hedge as well. But I don't know, we'll have to see, see what the weather decides to do. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get my cart and then I'm going to start taking the fruit into the garage. And then we'll make our way over to the poly tunnel and we'll have a look at there. And if the sun comes out, we'll have a little look around the garden and see what's happening in the garden. There's not much. Most things are finished now. It's nearly over. Um, bar the shouting as they say there's a couple of rosebuds left to flower but other than that it's been a bit rubbish I was going to do a rose video but my rose video seems to have disappeared off my computer so if I find it I'll post it through the winter but at the moment it's gone vanished, kaput, all the footage I took of all my roses showing you them all and uh, explaining what they were and the best points about them and recommending them for Christmas and the lot's gone so that's computers for you and mine's rubbish absolutely rubbish it's got 500 gigabytes of memory on it and that's your lot so every time i do a week's worth of videos i've got to take the whole lot off my computer and put it on a hard drive so yeah not very happy lady but yeah i've lost a few recipes as well i did um what did i do i did a cottage pie video for you um i did a lasagna video for you i've done some cake recipes for you and the lot's gone so I'm hoping it's all on my hard drive, but I've got to spend some time now, a few hours, going through the hard drive and seeing if I can find it. Because at the moment, I'm up to a terabyte of memory being used on my YouTube videos on both channels in two years. So, yeah. Anyway, I just hope those drives don't break because I'll lose all my photographs and all my videos that I've taken in the last two years. But, yeah, that's life, isn't it? It's not important. If I do lose them... Never mind, I've got the memories up here and I've got my videos on YouTube. That's just the way I look at it. Anyway, I'm going to get go, get on with my video. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of the garden if the sun comes out, as I say. But I'm just going to get the fruit, get it sorted. I'll show you what I've got and I'll show you where I'm putting it in the garage. So this is my wood wall. It's working out really well. It's drying out nicely. It's not getting a lot of rain. It's just getting rain on the front bit. But uh, if it does get it, but the rest of it's drying out nice, so that's good. Hopefully for next year we'll have some new wood. But uh, down here, excuse the juice, so that's to go back in the garage. I was hoping to get that working. Anyway, this is my fruit corner. And I've got a fig tree there, which I want to put in the garage until it gets bigger. It's been a good plant, this. It's done really well. I'm sure I could leave it out, but I don't want to take the chance because... When it comes straight down that field, the frost, it's just been really cold and I just want to make sure that it's pausable. So this will probably end up in a big pot on wheels that can be moved. Um, I've, got <coughs> I've got two citrus fruits here. One's a lemon, one's a lime. Um, also got another one here, which is an orange. Um, this one here is a peach red haven peach so that's been doing really well it's died off at the top for some reason but all the growth is coming out above the graft at the bottom so i'm hoping that's going to be okay um 
What else have we got? I've moved it all around so I can't find it. Over here, I've got a blueberry here and another blueberry here. So they need to go into the polytunnel. There's loads of strawberries around as well, so I need to sort them out. This one lives outside. This was my this was my original peach. Um, that I bought about 10 or 15 years ago and I brought it from my allotment. Now it was growing at the top when we first moved in and I had flowers and then it just died. But it's come back at the bottom and I believe it's a peach, uh, Julian peach, Julian grieve or grave peach from what I know. So I've decided to keep it and it's bushing up nicely from the bottom. So even if I only get a shrub, I don't mind just as long as it looks pretty and these red branches look beautiful in the sun and in the summer when it's got some lovely leaves but all the leaves fall off in the winter so that's why they're looking like that but it's doing really well I mean even if I get sloes off it I'm not bothered or quince because they're quite nice as well so that's them then over here this hasn't done very well it was planted last year but it was in a bucket of water for ages it's a plum so I'm going to keep it still got bendy branches on it so I'm hoping it'll do something. Um, I'm going to move my sage because I don't want to lose it. It's my original sage from 20 odd years ago, maybe even 30 years ago and uh, it's doing really well here. It seems to like it. I've had to tie it up because the wind keeps catching it but that's going to stay where it is. This is another apple. This is a apple. That was my Braeburn, that one in the red tub. This is a Gala. Then this is another Apric uh, Peach Red Haven. Now, this is fantastic. I'm so pleased with how well this has done. And I had peaches this year on the one in the porch. So this one is definitely going in the garage because it's got some lovely growth on it. And uh, it needs to be protected from the bad weather. So that's going to go in the porch. So yeah, round here as well, round the side, this is my porch area. I'm going to be building another wood storage there. Um, but here, this is another Red Haven peach. And they were replacements for ones that died um, off you Garden. So I got two originally. They both died. They sent me some replacements. One of them died. They sent me more replacements. And these are the ones that are left. So this one here was brilliant in the summer. It gave me fruit. I had peaches off it. But the branch that gave me the fruit has died off a bit. So I'm just hoping it's going to be okay. There's the remainder of one of the peaches. But they were absolutely beautiful. They were gorgeous. So this is going to be um, going into the garage as well. Got a nice healthy shoot here. I don't want to lose it. So yeah, that's going to be going away as well. And um, this one here, it's as an apricot. This is going in. This, they're, they're all dwarf, by the way, if you're interested in growing them. Um, and this one is Early Moor Park. Now, I'm not sure I like you garden plants anymore, but I uh, haven't made my mind up. But this one's definitely going to go in the uh, polytunnel, out of the way. So the peaches are going to go in the garage. That's going to go in the greenhouse, in the polytunnel. And so are the uh, blueberries but then I've also got all my geraniums as well that I need to decide where I'm going to put them I'll have them in the house normally but they're put on such a lot of growth they've done so well I don't want to lose them and I want to take cuttings as well so I'm not sure whether to have them on the polytunnel I'm not sure how warm it's going to get in there so I might just pop them in the house again but there's quite a few around the place uh, anti-rhinum's looking pretty nice and uh, lemony Pond's done really well, by the way, this year. It's been fantastic. I still haven't got any frogs, I'm hopeful. Need to clean it out. But uh, it's looking good. So this is where I keep my fruits out of the way. We have some bits of wood that I can't cut, so I'm just going to use them as decoration around the garden. This is a good spot for my citrus fruits because it's out of the frost, it's out of the draft of the doors, 
and it's nicely protected and sheltered. So that's why they live here in the winter. So they don't get the frost. I'm making sure I brush up so I don't get any mice or rats living underneath the tub. Because it's all open. Right. Those two can live there. And we're going to get the others. So I've got my peaches in, I've got three of them in, I've got one more to get, um, I've got the fig, I've got the citrus, there's the fig, there's the two citrus, uh, then there's a peach there, then there's a peach there, and a peach there. Now this pot here is the old vent off our septic tank it was just dumped in the field and you know it makes a great pot this peach seems to like it so that's them all tucked up for the winter so i'm just going to move the rest yeah so what i thought we'd do now is i thought we'd have a little look around and see where we can put that nice piece of oak because it'd be nice to be able to see it from the house and it needs to be somewhere stable so I'm thinking either here because there is a magnolia so I'm thinking either here or along here somewhere it's all starting to die back now there's lots of lovely berries on the holly tree Sorry about the noise, that's the aeroplanes flying up high practising. Uh, got a nice penstemon just there, that's very pretty. The asters are still out. Summer hasn't quite gone yet from the garden because summer gone is still in flower up here. And pretty much everything's finished now. The maple, field maple, is nearly done. Well, the apple tree has dropped all its leaves. That one's nearly finished. Where I was thinking of putting this piece of oak is down here. I thought it could go along here somewhere. In the middle. And then I can see it from the window in the house. Somewhere around here. I think that would be rather nice. Or there. Or here. This is the side of the barn and there's the wisteria. So maybe here might be quite nice. But I do like my pieces of wood. I don't want it to look like a graveyard. And pretty much everything's finished now. I've got a bit of a being a borealis or whatever it's called left. Um, my rhododendrons have done really well. There's a flower appearing on this one. Let's have a look at that shall we? Pretty flower. I think this one's called Cosmopolitan. It's a bit late or a bit early, one or the other. But that's going to be pretty. Got another one here. And this one is Goma Waterer. It's 
a white one. The blue 1.5 meters. Sorry about my shadow. As you can see, it's all pretty much finished now. So that means winter's on its way. The uh, rose walk didn't do much this year. Bit disappointing, really, after all the work. But maybe next year. There's always next year, isn't there, in the garden calendar? So I've got all these plants to go out. It's been that wet. I've not been able to put any of these out. So they're in waiting. So the other job I want to do today as well, while the weather's so nice, is take some cuttings. So I thought I might have a go at doing some penstemon while they're in flower so I can see what they are. So I think I'm going to do them. So I've got that purple one I want to do. And the red one that I've just showed you over there. Um, I know down there, I know down there there is a white one. So we'll do that. And I also want to take cuttings of my hydrangeas. This one here was Gordon's and I've got a cutting of it in the house but I want to do another one. And while I've got nice flowers on the top, I can have the flowers on display in the house and keep the cuttings in the house. So I thought I'd do that. And I've also got this other one over here. Let's go and have a look. This is a part of the garden I don't show you very often. Well, at all, really. But I've got this one. And look at the size of that flower on there. But there's only one stem, so I can't do cutting off that one. But there's also this one. So I thought I'd take a couple of cuttings off that. Some nice new growth on it here. Um, but this was supposed to be a spirea and hydrangea hedge. But the hydrangea didn't do very well. Well, not as well as the uh, spirea anyway. Um, so yeah, I need to get on with that. Want to do? Got another pen. Got another penstemon down there. I could take cuttings off. So I think I'll do that. That tree there needs tackling at some point because there's an electric cable that goes through there. So I need to sort that out at some point. But uh, not today. That's the little woodland walk. And I don't show you there very often either, because I don't go there very often myself. Right, shall we go down to the polytunnel? These ones here, these kefir lily have been beautiful. And um, I've got the, the red, and I've got some pink left over there. So I'm very pleased with them. I may try and take some, divide them and move them around the garden. Um, but yeah, it's all coming on nicely. And Pilgrim still hasn't flowered. Holding on to her buds. I've got three or four lovely little flower buds on there and still no flowers. So that's a shame. Chirpy. <laughs> right, let's go to the polytunnel. It's a bit of a mess. Oh look! A clematis flower. That's pretty. Didn't notice that before. So yeah, what I want to do as well is I want to harvest some of this mint here. This is Gordon's. Nearly finished, but I want to harvest it for the winter, so I'm going to take off some cuttings off there. I've got some lemon verbena as well that I want to do cuttings from. And this, this is um, two Cape Gooseberry. 
Are they the ones you get in the little husks? Let me see if I can find one. Oh, here. See these husks here? See these husks here? Well, in there, let me open this one, you get this little berry. And they're like little jewels. Another one there. Well, it needs to be taken out the frost. And I'm just hoping I don't lose it because there's lots of husks on it. Another one there. And there's loads in there. And this is two bushes, but it needs to go in the polytunnel. And so does this. This is my lemon verbena. Now, I've tried growing these many times in the past and they've died in the frost so I'm hoping I'll have better luck in the polytunnel because it died in the house last year and I bought a new one so I'm going to take some cuttings because it's quite a decent size and uh, I'm going to pop it in the polytunnel so that needs doing today while the weather's nice but this mess is the polytunnel I've not been in here for ages because I got blight so I didn't bother Got a few tomatoes to pick, but it does need tidying up. I've got an apricot there, and I've got another one to come in here. So I'm going to tidy this first, and then I'm going to dig my plants out, get them in pots in here, and then try and sort this mess out, and get it ready for bringing things in here for the winter. It's lovely and warm in here. As you can see, I've got blight on my tomatoes, so they've not done very well. I've still got cucumbers to pick at the back there, still got quite a few. So I'm going to pick my tomatoes, pick my cucumbers, and then decide whether it's worth cutting these down. Because I don't think they're going to do anything really. We're not going to get enough sun now, it seems a shame because there are flowers on it still. I think maybe I just left them to get too high. You see there's tomatoes here. There's tomatoes come in here. So it just really needs a good tidy up. I've got tomatoes here, which have done well. So yeah, I don't want to cut the tomato flowers off particularly, but I don't know if it's worth leaving them. But they can be tidied up. And then I've got some cucumbers that I want to bring in here for the winter to see if I can get any cucumbers through the winter. So here's my piece of wood. I think it's going to go at the back there. Right, so I've moved my tree some and I put that there. I think that'll look nice there. It's got a rose in front of it, a pink rose. I'm going to move this because this is yellow. I'm going to move that because that's yellow. And that's yellow. And also I've got a yellow tree peony. So there's far too much yellow in this border. So I'm going to move that. And I'm going to put that probably here. Um, move this out the way. And then I've got a white magnolia stellata over there. So I'm thinking I might move that to here. And then we've got a space. Oh no, I can't. So yeah, that should look nice. The magnolia stellata's over there. So I just need to move that tree painting. I've got off the lovely Maria. some nice growth on it settling in nicely
right, so that's that in. Let's We've just finished in the dive shed for the evening and I don't know whether you can see but there's a beautiful half moon. It's a really big half moon as well, it's lovely. It's going to be a cold night tonight I think. But uh, it's good to be back in the dive shed. I'm going to go in and do some knitting or some weaving. birds are just going to bed and it's kind of like the what I call a shift changeover between the day and the night. We've had an owl, a tawny owl around um, the last two or three nights so I'm hoping he comes tonight. If he does I'll put the camera on and let you hear him because he was in the tree in the garden the other night and then he went to another tree in the garden and then he went across the field. So I do love it when the moon's like that and there's no wind and you just know it's going to be a still crisp night and go in.